I spent a lot of time this weekend thinking about this. I filmed one on Friday, but missed like, I, I forgot to mention like two of the critical things. So we're like, let's redo that with 20 minutes of testing on these dummies and just kind of explain everything. So if you want to start doing AOE damage as an arcane mage, the first thing you want to do is understand how to single target because single target is a lot easier and single target, the single target rotation is going to come in super handy if you want to learn how to multi-target. So start with my single target video if you haven't watched that. It's also on YouTube. Um, if you have the single target one down and you're like, okay, how do I start to AOE? Let's get into the video. So here's what the talent build is looking like. It's the same exact talent build as um, single target, except a couple things change. You go high voltage and orb barrage instead of the two points in Prodigious Savant. And you go Sun Fury Execution instead of Savor the Moment. But other than that, like everything is pretty much the same. You're going to be using that single target rotation a lot into your Touch of the Magi target, which if you don't, if you haven't seen the video, it's just a lot of missile blast blast. And then it's like, when do you actually use the barrage? The barrage and single target you use under three circumstances. One, if you have Burden of Power. Two, if you have Glorious Incandescence. And three, if you have Intuition. That's your four set peace bonus from being an Arcane Mage. So those are the three instances in which you're going to actually barrage outside of your Arcane Soul window, which remember Arcane Soul is when your Arcane Surge expires. Okay, now in AoE, you get two more instances where you actually want to barrage. The first is with Aether Attunement. That's this proc here. It makes your missiles go AoE. That's because you can use either attunement missiles to generate four arcane charges after using barrage down to zero. And the second is your arcane orb, right? So you can use blast barrage on that um, last stack of nether precision if you have an arcane orb. Um, you can just use that barrage if you have the either attunement. Of course, you can use the barrage like normal single target with glorious, burden, or intuition as well. Now, a lot of guides online say you can also barrage with one stack of clear casting, which is basically just an arcane missile proc. I don't like doing that. The reason I don't like doing that is because it's RNG. With high voltage, you will generate anywhere from one to three charges back after um, a barrage with a clear cast. Now, that can work, but it can get pretty sus if you get unlucky and you just get like one charge back. So I generally just don't. I just don't use Barrage on Clearcast. I use it on Aether Attunement, Orb, Burden, Glorious, and Intuition for AoE. So what that would look like on the target dummy would be something like you'll start with the Evo just like normal. You'll go with Missiles just like normal. You'll send out the Orb because it's going to put you to four stacks. You'll use Surge, Barrage, and then Touch. From here, you do want to cast an Arcane Blast to get you back into... Um, your Magi Spark window because you want to do a blast, a barrage, and a touch into that, uh, into the touch of the Magi for it to explode. Okay. From there, now you're looking at things like or barrage RNG because if you shoot out a barrage because you have an Aether attunement, but you get another or barrage, you're then going to do a second barrage and then say you get another or barrage proc, and then you're going to do a third barrage, and then now that you have no charges, then you'll Aether attunement back full or touch the Magi back full, or orb back full, okay? So th essentially the goal is, the, the big question in your head is, when can I barrage? And the answer is, if you have a way to get back to four charges, and there's five ways to do that, like I keep mentioning. Um, intuition, Burden, Glorious, Orb, and Aether Attunement. And technically touch the Magi is like a sixth, but obviously it's a 45 second cooldown. Let's, let's show you guys what this looks like. So we're actually just gonna send the Evo, Send the missiles and the orb. And then we'll surge, barrage, touch. From here, we're going to do the blast to get spark. And now it's kind of freestyle. So we're going to do two blasts, see what we get. Nothing. So missile, two blasts, see what we get. Okay, we can send an orb, another orb. And then we have the Aether attunement to get back full. Okay, two more blasts, see what we get. Okay, arcane soul. We can do three, four. And then you can do a fifth, use the orb, and then shifting power. So we're going we're gonna to shifting power to get that orb back. Once again, now now our cooldowns are over. We can barrage because we have Aether Attunement. Here's the Aether Attunement. We're going to barrage because we have Touch of the Magi back. But we get a couple extra lucky procs, so we just get to spam for a bit first. Now we get Touch of the Magi, then we missiles. We go back into our Arcane Blasts. We have an Orb up, so we can do Blast, Blast, Barrage. 
and then use our orb. I kind of messed that up there. And then use the barrage. Another barrage. Another barrage. Another barrage. Another barrage. This is all RNG. Another barrage. Either attunement back to full. So you always want a way to get back to full. You never want to be stuck with your pants down with no stacks. All right. So we're doing 2.5 million DPS almost a minute in here. And we have cooldowns coming back up very soon. So we got to get ready for that. So we're going to do Blast Blast Barrage. We have four stacks, so we're going to use those Aether Attunement to get back. We're gonna, we have an orb, so we're going to do uh, a couple of barrages until we're out. And then an orb back up. And cooldowns are back up. So now we're going to Missiles. Surge, Barrage, Touch. Okay, once again here, we want to do that first Arcane Blast guaranteed. And then from here, okay, we have Aether Attunement. So we're going to empty charges. And Aether Attunement back up. And we're going to do a couple more Blasts. We're going to use a Missile. And Arcane Soul. So we get to do uh, clear casting here on one of the Arcane Soul. You always want to finish with max and shifting power. And Blast Barrage. We can empty out because we have Aether Attunement to get back up. We get empty out again because we have Orb to get back up. And we have Touch the Magi. So we can empty out again. Let's empty out as soon as we can because we want to get it on cooldown. Boom. There it is. And we empty out again because we have Aether Attunement. And we keep going. So we're sitting about 2.4 million DPS here. It's just no party buffs, no potions, anything like that. We can empty out. So we have orb. We can empty out because we have Aether Attunement. We just keep slamming with RNG. Sweet. There's the uh, four stack again. We have cooldowns coming up in 10 seconds. We always want to keep them paired, so we'll wait for that touch of the Magi. Should be coming up soon. Blast Blast Barrage. We have an Orb coming up and an Aether Attunement. So we keep barraging till we can cycle, which is... We get really lucky, so we get like five of them in a row, six of them in a row, seven of them in a row. Here's our Aether Attunement. We can send that. And now cooldowns. So we're going to do the Missiles. I'm going to use my Orb because I uh, wanted to recharge there. Get the, all of our cooldowns back up with Touch of the Magi. There's the Missiles. We'll do Blast Blast. We have Aether Attunement to restack, so we'll spend our charges. We'll send the barrage because we got burden. We can send a barrage because we have intuition. Okay, we can send. Uh, since it's either tomb and I'm holding in my soul window. And let's reset cooldowns, and we'll keep going. Either tomb and we'll we'll build it back up. Two blasts into the barrage, and then you'd want to cycle through. We have an orb, so we just keep cycling until we're out. And now we send. So that's kind of what the DPS rotation is going to look like, guys. Um, over the course of many minutes, the DPS is gonna gonna go up during the burst windows and then come back down when you don't, because Arcane's very bursty. And if you do a pull with like Lust on like tw like 15 mobs with Lust and uh, a Tempered Potion and like a Spy Masters, you can peak at like six, seven, eight, nine million, right? No Spy Masters, no Lust, no Tempered, no Group, all that kind of stuff. Then the DPS goes down. Um, but anyway, a s very simple way to think about it is, I want to barrage as much as I can at four charges because it owns it does a lot of damage but you only want to barrage if you can get your charges back and those five ways to get it back are burden glorious intuition from your four set orb aether attunement and that six which is touch of the magi which you only want to use once outside of cooldowns and once in so it's kind of like that that weird sixth one anyway that's pretty much the aoe rotation it can get a bit confusing and complicated especially as globals are getting quick with lust on uh, heat of the moment in a pack and you have to like send a counter spell and a focus target and like a, a supernova in there too to interrupt stuff and uh you know like that but it's awesome